Okay, so welcome everybody. This is the second video in the series uh, where I'll be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube uh, using the Roo method. So at this point, you should have the first block solved. So you should have these six blue pieces, these whites matching, everything matching there. So this six pieces should be solved. If you do not have this uh, first block solved, please return to the previous video, which will be linked in the description. Um, now, moving on to the second step of the Roo method. Uh, the second step is the second block. So we're going to do exactly what we did for the first block, which was blue, but we're going to do it on the opposite side. And as we remember from the first video, the opposite of blue is green. So now we're going to build the exact same block, but on green, and I'll just show you what it looks like. So it looks something like this. So at the end of this step, you'll still have your first block, and you'll have a second block, and this time it's going to be colored green. Okay, a few quick notes uh, that I want you to remember before I move on to explaining how to solve the second block. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure you don't break your first block. So you continue to hold it in your left hand like this on the left side, uh, the same spot that we built it. But now I want you to clamp your thumb on these two pieces like this and hold these two pieces with your middle finger and ring finger. So now you can't move that block at all. So no more D moves, no more L moves. Uh, no more F moves, and no more B moves. So right now, the only moves we can use to solve the second block are R, M, U, and R wide. All right, so make sure to remember those, and you won't mess up your first block. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention is that the second block, it has the exact same steps as the first block. So first we'll be solving the uh, green white instead of the blue white. Then we'll be solving the front pair by using the loading spot. And then we'll solve the back pair by using the loading spot again. So uh, let's get started. So our first goal is to place the green and white edge on the bottom right. And that's going to look something like this. Green and white edge on the bottom right like this. So the green white edge, there's not that many spots where it can be. It can either be somewhere on the top, so right now it's on the top, or it can be somewhere on the right, or it can be somewhere in the middle. Now if it's on the top, uh, that's good, but if it's not on the top right now, uh, all you need to do to bring it to the top is use R wide moves. So if it's in the middle, just do an R wide move to bring it to the top. If it's in the right, just do an R wide move to bring it to the top. And there we go. Once you get it to the top, what you want to do is flip it so it has white on top. Right now, this has green on top, and that's not what we want. So to flip it, you just bring it with a U move to the M slice, and you can do the, either do an R wide move or an M prime. Um, I prefer to do R wide because it's a bit easier. So once again, we'll repeat. Anywhere the uh, green white edge is, say it's right here, but it's flipped, you do R wide moves to bring it to the top. Then you position it right here to flip it. So right now it's green top. We want it to be white top. So we just go like that. And now we have a white top. Then all we do is do another U move to attach it like this with the green center. And then we can do an R move like that. And now this is solved on the bottom right. So as we saw in the first block, we started with blue white. Now we just start with green white. So if you just remember that, bring it with R wide moves to the top, flip it so it's white top, attach it to the center and put it on the bottom. So now that's done. And the next step is to solve the front pair that goes here. So if you look at this one, it's blue, red, white. And the pair that goes here is going to be green, red, and white. So first, I want you to find the green and red edge. Okay, so looking around the cube, remember we're still clamping that hand because we don't want to mess it up. It's right here, the green and red edge. So we, we want to bring this to the loading spot. But as we can see right now, it's kind of difficult. We can do an R move and a D move, but we can't do D moves, and that breaks this. So, what we want to do is take this out of this back slot without breaking this and without breaking the first block. To take this out of the back slot, we do three moves. So we bring the right side down, so R prime, U, R. Okay, and the reason that works is because we're bringing the right side down we're adjusting the top to bring this piece out of the way. Then we're just solving the green-white edge again in the bottom, like that. So now that this is in the top, uh, all you need to do is bring it to the front right here above the loading spot. We remember this is the loading spot from last time. 
we can do an M move, and now it's in the loading spot. So I'll just do a quick review. So if we want to get the green red edge from the back uh, into the loading spot, and if it's stuck in this spot specifically, you can just do R prime U R, and now it's out of there, and you can just do an M to bring it to the loading spot. If it's anywhere on the top, the green, uh, the green red edge, you can just spin the top around so it's above the loading spot and do an M move. If it's in the back and the bottom, it's pretty easy. You can just do an M prime, and now it's at the loading spot. And then if it's stuck in the front like this, last time it was in the back, if it's stuck in the front, we just do R, U, R prime, which works the exact same way. And then we can do an M to put it into the loading spot. So at this point, you should have the green white edge solved, the green red in the loading spot, and you should still have your first block solved because you've clamped your left hand and that's never going to move. Okay, so now if you remember from the first block, what we want to do is match the edge that's loaded, match this edge with the corresponding corner. Now the corresponding corner is going to be green, red, white. And if we look around the cube, it's right here. Now, similar to the edge last time, uh, this is actually stuck in the back. And to get it out of the back, we have to take it out by not messing up the first block and not messing up the green and white. So we do the exact same thing. We can just do R prime, U, R. Now it's out of there. And similarly, if it was stuck in the front like this, we can just do R, U, R prime. So, but that's how you get the green, red, white corner onto the top. Uh, if it's the, There's only six spots it can be. You can either already be on the top on these four or these two. And as I just mentioned, if it's in the bottom like this, on the front, you just do R, U, R prime. And if it's in the back, you do R prime, U, R. So now you should have this on the top. And if you remember from the first block, now all we need to do is spin this around so that when we do an M slice move, it's going to pair with the edge. So here it doesn't pair, so it's because it's opposite. So what we want to do is spin it to the back like this. So now we see this is green and that's green over there. So if you do an M2, now the reds are matched, the greens are matched, and there we have the red and green pair. Now, if you remember from the first block, when um, red is on top, we had to do R wide prime F. But this time, um, inserting this is kind of different. The way we insert this is watch closely. So we want to bring this DR, the green and white edge up like this. We want to spin the top to match that like this and bring it back down. I'll repeat that. So the moves themselves are just R, U prime, R prime. And if the pair was like this, green on top, the way we inserted this in the first block was with an F move. But if we do that, we see we mess up the other pair. So uh, in order to avoid that, what we do in the second block to insert pairs when they're green on top is that we use wide moves. So here we do R wide, U, R wide prime. So I'll just review that once again. If it's the front pair and it's red on top, you do R, U prime, R prime. If it's the front pair and it's green on top, you do R wide, U, R wide prime. Okay, I'll just show uh, the example of solving the front pair again. So we already have green and white. So what we want to do first is find the green red edge. Oh, here it is in the same spot again. So to take it out of there, we have to do an R prime, U, R. All right. Uh, then to put it in the loading spot, it's already above where it needs to go. So we do an M. Now the edge is loaded. We have to find the corner that goes with it. So it's not on the top. It's not back there. It's actually right here. So we have the white, red, green. But it's stuck in the front. How do we take things out of the front? R, U, R prime. Okay. Now we kind of ran into a problem. This is white on top. So no matter where we go, this isn't going to match with the loaded edge. So what did we do in the first block when we had a white on top on the corner? We flipped it. And flipping corners in the second block is the exact same as the first block. We spin the top to bring it into this position, which is the flipping spot, and you do R prime, U, R. So once again, if the corner in the second block, or in the first block actually, is white on top, we don't want that. So move the top around so it's in the loading spot, and do R, and sorry, not the loading spot, the flipping spot. And we do R prime, U, R. And this is still solved. This is still loaded. Now these are red on top. We can do an M prime. These are matched. Uh, when they're red on top, the insert is R, U prime, R prime. 
Okay, so now you, now you should still have your first block because your left hand has been clamped and you haven't been any, doing any D, L, F, or B moves. And uh, if you follow those steps of solving the green-white, then loading this edge, then preparing this corner, matching them and inserting them, you should have this front square solved and you're almost done your second block. Now, if you remember with the first block, uh, we did the exact same thing except in the back and with the orange. So last time we did it with blue-orange, this time we're going to do it with green-orange. So the green-orange is right here. Uh, once again, we want to bring it to the loading spot. If it's anywhere on the top, we can spin it around to bring it to the front and then do an M move to load it. If it's on the bottom in the back like that, we can just do an M prime and there it is. And the only tricky spot for this is if it's actually solved like this. And to, to take it out, it's the exact same thing as getting uh, the front edge out. It's just R prime U R once again. So uh, at this point, you should be pretty comfortable with that and you should be able to figure out how to get the orange green into the loading spot. So now we have to find the corner that matches with this, um, just as in every time we do this. So uh, orange green, we look for the orange green in a white corner and it's actually in there. Uh, it's stuck in the back. So once again, to get something out of the back, we do R prime U R. Now it's on the top, okay. So it's on the top and if it's anywhere on the top, uh, we can just spin it around. And as we can see, it's never gonna match up with this because this is white on top. How do we get things to not be white on top? Put it in the back right here, do the flipping move. So that's R prime U R. And right now it's green on top. To match it with the orange, if we do an M prime here, it's not gonna match. There, it's not gonna match. But if we twist it around to the back like this and do an M2, now they're both green on top. And uh, in the first block, when they were both uh, blue on top, we just did a back move. But as we can see, that's going to mess this up and we're not allowed to do that. So to insert the back pair when they're green on top, you do R wide prime, U prime, R wide. And that'll solve your first block. I mean, your second block. And if the pair is orange on top, you do R prime, U, R. So now you should have your first block and your second block solved. Uh, if you already know how to solve the first block and you're pretty comfortable with it, the second block uh, isn't too hard. You just need to wrap your head around the insertions, doing this one, doing that one, doing that one, and doing that one. As well as if you have something stuck, you can just do the opposite of an insertion to take it out. So now I'll just scramble up the second block and I'll show you an example. Okay, so here we go. First thing we have to find, uh, actually no, even before that, clamp the left hand so that can never move, no F move, no D move, no B move, no L move. Just R, 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 R wide, U and M. First thing we want to solve the green white edge. So green white, it's right here. It's on the right side, so we want to bring it to the top. We can just do an R wide move, now it's on the top. Um, next we want to make sure that it's white on top. Right now it's green on top. So we want to position it in the front like this. Do another R wide move and now it's white on top. Okay, perfect. Now we match the green with the green and we do another R wide move to bring it to the bottom like this. And now this is solved. Okay. Now what we want to do is find the, the front edge to load it. So the front edge is the green and red. So we look around the cube uh, while still holding on to the first block to find the green and red. And it's right here in the back. How do we get things unstuck from the back? We do R prime U R like that. Okay, so now it's in this spot and we want to load it into here. So we can just do an M move like that. Now we have to find the corner that goes with it. So the corner is right here. It's red, white, and green. So we can position this over here, do an M prime. Now these are matched. And how do we insert when it's red on top? We can just do R, U prime, R prime. Okay, now looking around the cube, um, the next thing we have to do is find the green and orange edge and load it. And look at that, it's already loaded for us. And the corner that goes with it, the orange, green, and white is already on the top. So we can just do a U2 to put this on the back. M2, pair these up. R prime, U, R. So that was a pretty easy example, but I think I explained everything you need to know and showed the moves of how to flip this one and solve it, how to get edges unstuck if they're in the solved uh, salt positions, same thing with corners, uh, how to flip these corners so they're not white on top, uh, loading the edge, solving it, and the insertions. I'll go through the insertions one more time. So there's four of them that you have to know once the pair is solved. 
Um, if the front one is green on top, R wide, U, R wide prime. If the front one is red on top, R, U prime, R prime. If the back one is green on top, R wide prime, U prime, R wide. And lastly, if the back one is orange on top, R prime, U, R. And easy way to remember how to take something out. So say a piece you need is stuck in the back. You just do the opposite of one of the insertions. So you can do R prime, U prime, R, or R prime, U, R, and now these are out. Same thing if these are stuck in the front and these are the pieces you want, you can do R, U, R prime, or you can do R, U prime, R prime. Um, this is a pretty easy step, I think. Once you have the first block, you can figure that out. Hopefully now, at this point, you have your first block and your second block solved, so you have your blues and your greens. Uh, at this point, there's not much left in the solve, so hopefully you made it this far. If you did, um, congrats to you, you're almost there. There's only two videos left, and those will be linked in the description. If you didn't quite make it here and you're still kind of confused, that's all right. Uh, you can go back in the playlist to rewatch the first block, and you can rewatch this video to make sure you know everything about the second block. Thanks for watching, hopefully this was useful. Make sure to check out the rest of the playlist so you can learn how to fully solve the cube in the description.